So, are you getting errors when putting data in Power Query? This video is for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you why you get the errors and two ways to fix it. How about that for a video? Okay, let's get started. Here we have our sample data and it has four columns. And as you can see, all the data is in one cell and we want to split that, you know, per row. Yeah exactly the same way but we want to have three rows instead of one so this is what we're going to do we're going to select everything and pivot the columns and here is split column we're going to do by delimiter and power query is so smart and it says oh it is a line fit the delimiter and we're going to we are going to split it into rows i don't know if you could do that but it's super cool so you can split into columns or rows we're going to split it into rows and now that we have it into rows Pivot the column, right? How hard can it be? So we go there, advanced, don't aggregate, and we get an error. And the error says there are too many elements in the enumeration to complete the operation. Like, what? <laughs> what are you trying to tell me, Power Query? Okay. After sitting down, because I couldn't find anything, any explanation online made any sense. So this is what I find out that is going on. Here's the thing. First, I thought that is because I have multiple rows. So maybe you can only pivot when you have only one row. But because I've been doing some work before, here we have an example that we have multiple rows. So if I pick that, choose pivot column, rate, and then don't aggregate, you're going to see that it works. And I was thinking, like, why does it work here and it doesn't work on the other one? There's one thing that differs from both, and it is that here you have another column that it says 12 months, 24 months, and 38 months. So it's basically telling Power Query when it's pivoting the data that this is for row one, this is for row two, this is for row three, kind of. Otherwise, it seems like Power Pivot cannot, or Power Query cannot unpivot the data because it doesn't know where it put the things. So I thought, could it be that? Let's give it a go. So if I go here and we're going to do a group by, we're going to group all rows. Again, we don't want to count or sum or anything. So now we have a table for each attribute and now we're going to add an index column. So we go in here and we're going to have table add index column. And then we're going to add the column index in the count column and then the name of the new column is going to be index and we want to start in one okay so that is going to add in every small table a new column called index and then now we have row one row two row three row one da, da, da. and then we're going to open these and we don't want attribute we already have that there and now we have that this is row one this is row one this is row one so now we're telling Power Query, all these is row one, all those are row two, all those are row three. Okay, so delete that. And now we're going to get the attribute, go to transform pivot column by value. Don't aggregate. And finally, we got our pivoted function because now it knows that everything that has a one in there is row one, this is row two, this is row three. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to be able to figure it out by its own. And it works any every time, every time. So now I'm going to show you another way that does this that it's a little bit more effective, I think. So here's the thing. If we go in here and now we go to, for this example, obviously, you have different examples, different data will have different solutions. So we're going to do and pivot columns again, but this time when we're going to split this, we're going to split it by columns instead of rows. And now you cannot pivot, pivot different columns, but you can transpose. So if you now click transpose, and then you click use first rows as headers, we have the table in fewer clicks and hopefully a more performance efficient transformation. The only way to know that is to check with the uh, query diagnostics, but 
in my head it sounds more performant anyhow. So now that you know how to pivot, unpivot and transpose things in Power Query, maybe you want to learn how to merge and append. So here is a good video about that. I will see you again on Wednesday. Take care until then and bye bye.